Mommy! <laughs> Autobots transform and roll. Out. <laughs> beep and beep and beep and beep, 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 beep your mom. Just keep beeping. <laughs> Don't stop beeping. <laughs> All right. Travis, here he is in your house. Travis, there he is. There he goes. Travis, in your house, in his mom. Travis, you can do it. Sing along. Travis, 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 sing the song, sing the song, sing the song. It's about Travis. Sing the song, sing the song, sing the song. It's about Travis. I turned into a fever dream very quickly. Sing, sing, sing. Sing it. Sing it. You were <laughs> Night and day, back again. Yes, we are back. Back in the world of Final Fantasy VII. Yes, we are back in Gong Gaga Village. Because yes. Cloud done Gong Gaga in the last episode and beat the sh out of Aerith. Uh, yeah, you definitely went as Gaga as you can get. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to try and see if we can't... Uh, at least try and remedy some of that situation that happened last time. See how our team feels about it, because wow, that was uh, intense. Yeah, right now the team, being Tifa and Barrett, seem like they're willing to put their faith all on board back in Cloud. Yeah, Let's get moving. Exactly. Why are we wasting time? Even though Cloud himself, at least, has the sense to have reservations like, no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to go crazy. I don't know if I'm going to be under his control. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, he's, he's well aware that Sephiroth is controlling him. But no one else is like, where everyone else is like, hey man, you gotta pull it together. Mm -hmm. And then people are people are dealing with themselves all the time. You should like figure it out and then like move on. It's like no, that doesn't really happen. Yeah, I'm not sure if they understand what happened completely because right. it was some part of what was going on. And even yeah, it's up. Even fans have debated like, well, Cloud was under Sephiroth's control when he beat Aerith, was he? Because he wasn't doing the, like, puppet strings at that point. Sephiroth already supermaned his way out of town. Mm, and yeah. then Cloud was like, ah. And, and then went crazy after the fact. Yeah. Right. But the child representation of Cloud was still there. So does that mean Cloud was, the the adult Cloud was still under Sephiroth's control? I'm not sure. Right. But people have argued it back and forth. Hmm. That is really, yeah, that, that is interesting you bring it up. Yeah, the whole, like, ch the child representation was there. Because, yeah, I mean, that's how they dictated, like, him being under under Sephiroth's control in the beginning of that right. scene, so maybe, yeah. I mean, I, I went in with the assumption that he was still under his control, but and um, I guess that's only cemented by the fact that like the the child representation was still there. But I could totally see why. I mean, Sephiroth is gone. There's not many instances where Sephiroth has just been kind of like totally new place, and then Cloud starts acting up like significantly to that degree. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, people have debated it, wow. so we'll have to see yeah, what hopefully the party can forward. figure out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, hopefully moving forward, we can see everyone's thoughts on it, like, in the game, and also um, if there's, like, moving forward, some explanation on why that's happening, for sure. You awake? Those people were so worried that they stayed by your side until you woke up. You sure do have good friends, and you're a dick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you should feel that. I heard them talking about what you did. Yeah. <laughs> You're a freaking monster. Yeah, get out of my house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've called the police. <laughs> Cloud. Hey, how are you? I just want to know where she's going to be. You want to find out about yourself? Or are you afraid to find out? Either way, if you stay around here, all you're going to do is worry about it. Even if you do go nuts again when you see Sephiroth, if it happens, it happens. I'll go upside your spiky head and bring you back to normal. Cloud, it'll be all right. We're all with you. But. But you all just were with me and it wasn't all right. Yeah, and Barrett tried real hard to get to me, but uh, it wasn't in time to uh, stop me from beating the crap out of Aerith. So. Yeah, not the most compelling arguments, guys. Yeah, really. <laughs> if it happens, it happens kind of thing isn't really a good way to plan your future about ending the world 
Well, his like argument stopping. was more like, I'll smack you back to your I'll, senses. Yeah, I'll beat you back into reality kind and of thing. maybe that would work. We don't know. It hasn't been tested yet. Maybe. There it was like 20 stories up or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Five stories up, but... Swift blow of the head could fix a lot of things. If it happens, it happens. Don't worry about it. I've been looking for an excuse to knock you on your ass since this game started. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Just say the word. You're right. He's right, isn't he? Come on, let's go find Aerith. Ooh, okay, and that's oh. the talk that we got from the pep squad patrol here. Wow. That's not the most convincing <laughs> argument, yeah, guys. Yeah, definitely not compelling here. Uh, they're just saying, you know, go with the flow. You'll be fine in the next, whenever the next iteration of uh, you being controlled by Sephiroth is, so. Yeah, let's check and see if anything here is new. I don't yeah, think oh, that yeah. it will be. Oh, Fury Ring. Automatically puts you in Berserk. Huh. If it automatically put us in Fury, that would be better. Mm. Uh, but Berserk yeah. is a bad thing where you lose control of your people. Oh, and they just start. They'll, like, hit your teammates and everything like that. Yeah. 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 No, 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 that's confusion. Oh, Berserk okay. means they'll attack the enemy nonstop and they'll have a stronger... Um, Attack, attack stat, right. but you don't control them anymore. Oh, uh, okay. So it's like Vincent, except right. to a lesser degree and mm. all the time. Oh, okay. As you can see in our party screen, we've only got eight icons now. Oh, right. One is missing. So Aerith is no longer capable of uh, joining the team. Yeah, we gotta Makes go sense. track her down. <laughs> Kate Sith was away for a lot less time than I was anticipating. Yeah. <laughs> It is very like him to show up at the worst possible time when, like, Aerith is getting the, the crap beaten out of her by Cloud, and he's just like, Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> yep. I, yeah, it's again, it's another version where you and your reading style of Kate's this dialogue is <laughs> just awesome. It works out so well. All right, so... Oh. Here we are on the world map. Let's save it up because we haven't done that in a little bit. That is a good idea. And we're going to mess with the party just a little bit and we'll be right back, guys. All right. See you guys in a sec. Let's see. We need the tiny Bronco. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> All right. So we found the tiny Bronco. Yeah. There we go. Simple as that. Yeah, I love the, um, I love the markers on the yes. map. It definitely helps a whole lot. Yeah. Because, yeah, scouring around or trying to remember where you placed your vehicle. <laughs> like, after going through in and out like, all of these different tunnels and things. Right. It would have just been terrible. So, so now... Awesome. Yeah, I, I agree. Especially... Well, I mean, the earlier Final Fantasies did have world maps available also. Mm, okay. So you can kind of uh, at least piece together where you've, where you've been. Oh, we can't go farther along this side of the continent that way. I think we're heading to the north now? I'm not 100% sure. The so, north. Okay. we're gonna wander. What we're looking for is where Aerith was, the Sleeping Forest and eventually the City of the Ancients. Right, right. So, we'll see if we can find our way there. And if it takes us too long, then we will meet you guys when we arrive on the yeah. shores of Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> the Ancient Ones. Yeah, because I'm completely in the wrong spot right now. So you've got to go all the way up, like meander all the way up to the north there? I think so. Huh. I think we're going to the bottom white dot on the northern continent there, Okay. but I'm not 100% sure. What kind of horsepower does your car have? Oh yeah, 80 horsepower? No. 80. No. Muscular Bronco. Yes. <laughs> Muscular miniature steeds. <laughs> that was just one, one Bronco. With the tiniest Bronco you've ever seen. And he has the heart of 80, yes, 80 yes. stallions. 80 stallions fist pumping in the breeze. Or hoof pumping. 80 stallions. Hust. Hoof. Hust. I can't speak. This, this joke is making me lose my mind. This Hust. is kind of where we want to be. Hust pumping. Whoa, did you see the comment? Okay, yeah. That's where the ice sh to the north. Yeah, yeah. That's where we're headed. Well, okay. Well, this is old 3D for you guys. It popped yeah, in and out of reality. That warps. draw distance. Yep, it definitely warps in and out of... Uh, oh, sweet. Existence. This is it. This is exactly wow. where I want to be. Okay. You know, I'm not sure who tells you that you want to be here. 
<laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't know who... Like, no one has told me. <laughs> Besides I you. <laughs> I talked to a few people in Gongaga Village. Yeah. And, and none uh, of them said anything new. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe one person in the Gongaga Village, because that's usually the progression, where you end up, tells you... Aerith said, you know, she wanted to go to the Sleeping Forest. Right, right. Did she say it was in the far north? Because it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember who exactly tells you, but here we are. Yeah, exactly. Nonetheless, we've made it. We, we decided to keep the core party for now. We'll switch it up again in a little bit. Yeah, because, I mean, it is significant to these core people that the, uh... Oh, wow. Welcome to the Bone Village, a town for nature lovers. Wow. Yeah, that is some That is a gnarly-looking thing, yeah. yeah. What do you want? Um... Uh, <laughs> Get right to it. Yeah. Are you talking about that girl? I warned her, but she went into the sleeping forest anyway. No one listens to me, huh? Wow, okay, well that was a yeah. good thing I knew exactly where we had to go. But... Yeah, I know, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I guess where's the city of the ancients? City of the ancients? Oh, you must mean the forgotten city. I don't know, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> what? You didn't say where it was! Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> hey, where's the city of the ancients? Oh, yeah, yeah. you mean New York. Yeah. All right. Anything else you wanna? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, all right. What else? What else do you wanna know about? <laughs> I don't got all day. <laughs> <laughs> Excavating is great. It's like a history of the planet told in the land. Like when all the dinosaurs died. Yeah, exactly. And now, what's the next life form that might all be the, dead? The saber tooth was killed by a, <laughs> jet. a jet engine just being driven into it. Or jet plane, I'm sorry. The Lunar Harp is somewhere in the ground here. We could excavate it for you if you want us to. We're excavators! <laughs> uh, let's see what you got for sale, dude. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Diamond. The bangle of the dam. Yeah. Well, it's got more slots total than what we got now, so four, five beats four. And it just got shit all over by the rune armlet. Double. You may have noticed, but we love double. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> double is the way to go. So, uh, yeah. I mean, that's so... equivalent to like eight slots almost in terms of um, growth wise. Yeah, one so. might even say it's equivalent to eight slots exactly, <laughs> instead of all of us, but yes it is. <laughs> no, because you can't grow eight things at the same time. You can grow you four things. You could if we had, Don't. like, Sid's weapon, like the Dragoon Lance, he had eight all oh, the way across yeah, the time. So yeah, yeah you yeah, can. Eight true. is the max that a weapon can take. Right. But yeah, we don't have any eight armors for now. Yeah. So yeah, it's much better. So, it also, if we, it lets us play up play with our weapons set up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So we are going to get, I'd say, three of these. Because if we want, we could actually finally start equipping weapons that have higher attack and right. then go to the armor for double growth. Right. Because if we have only the four slot double weapons and only the four slot double armor, that's great for the growth, but then we lose the ability to do anything linked. Right. And right. it's wasted on any slots like um, enemy skill that don't have growth yeah. attributed to them. Right. Or right. that don't have a good ability to level to up. To level up too, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. What once the materia gets all the way to the tap, you see, even once we've unlocked the abilities, like we got ice and bolt up to level three. Yeah. And it's still not it's still three out of four stars. Right. Once you get it all the way to the fourth star, then what happens is it spawns a new materia of the exact same type at level one. Oh, okay. So that's why you can still progress it further. Right, okay. Interesting. But it's not really that relevant to use it in that way. That Yeah, I don't know, like, unless you really, really love that materia and, like, yeah. want to use it for everybody. Yeah. Then potentially, but yeah, I, I don't really see that we would be doing that that often. Actually gonna buy a few more of these because of our encounter with the demon wall. That's a good idea. <laughs> and since they're no longer like out of our price range. Yeah, we have been um like we were kinda limited on Gil at one point, but that ship has sailed for sure. 
As well, we, uh, the Rune Armlets, yeah, we're doing good for now. Yeah, yeah, we're doing all right. We'll buy, I guess, one diamond, because we still want people to be able to um, use all or whatnot, use linked. Oh, right, linked, linked abilities. Yeah. Linked materia. Okay. All right, great. So we'll look around here a little bit more, and then we'll change up our material before we get into an area with encounters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, sure. you, Jackie. <laughs> Can't talk to you. What about oh, you guys? Wow. Flapping in the breeze here. Oh. You can awaken the yo. You can awaken the sleeping forest if you have the lunar harp. Okay. Oh. Once awake, they say the forest will open a road for you. The girl in pink who just went in used a lunar harp to get through. <laughs> Not interested. Yeah. Uh, what kind of bull crap are you telling me? <laughs> I'm on Team Tifa. Yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't care. Stop talking to me about this girl in pink. Wish her luck, okay, buddy? Yeah, exactly. You can have her. Oh. Ask the guy in the tent below. Alright, seems simple enough. We use the newest system to find buried treasure. We use bombs to make earthquakes, and then we check the sound waves given off by the tremors. We are... At the top of our game, the upper echelon of exploration, we are known as... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the excavators! Excavating is a slow process. The treasures we excavate are stored in the box next to the tent. Remember that. Yeah, that open treasure box that we found when we got here, that's what he means. Yeah, okay. The forest is beyond here. It's called the Sleeping Forest. Right now, the forest is sleeping. Anyone who wanders in while it's asleep gets confuzzled. You can go in, but you may never. But just now, a girl in pink and a man in a black cape went in. You think they'll be all right? Ah. So uh -oh. both Sephiroth and Aerith have a... Uh, oh. This is not actually a... Made an appearance. Wow. An internal... There's no place in here. All right. It's cool that you can do that. It just but... kind of exists. Yeah. All right. Extra thing. So, so Aerith went in. I think this place we could have actually gotten to as soon as we had the tiny Bronco, but you couldn't excavate the lunar heart. Oh, uh, okay. So they, uh, okay. So now we're going to actually tell this guy to dig for the lunar harp. Yeah. So you can dig for good treasure or normal treasure, and we'll f see soon, like what the woman said in the upper right about yeah. the zooming in, narrowing in with the seismic whatevers. Right, right. All right, then I'll lend you some of my staff. I don't remember who was his voice. I was probably his voice. <laughs> Push yeah, switch to set staff in position. Oh, okay. So you actually do the excavation. Yeah. So what we want to do is, like, put three dudes down and triangulate. Oh, okay. Because once we hit the, the button of the explosions or whatnot... Okay, then you get to, like, have the sound waves triangulate that okay. position. Right, they're all going to... Oh, it's her! They actually have the staff do it. They're gonna all point towards where the, the thing is. Oh, okay. So I think it's best to use three. Alright, cool guys. Let's do it. Uh, who, who do all I say right. go to? Is yeah. it Tent McGee? No, he's gone. Uh, go, guys. Are you Tent McGee? Start. No. Go. Cancel. No, no, done. done. Oh, done. Okay. okay. You have to hit yes to start a search and then cancel instead. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes. Yeah. Stop trying to figure out ways to use the switch button, guys. <laughs> the staff members will calculate the channels and dig up the buried item. The dig point is where the staff line of vision meets. Triangulate mother jumpers. Move to the dig point and press switch. We keep trying to figure out a way to get this. To All right. That. Yeah. So she's looking this way. This dude's looking this way. So it's got to be like even right here-ish. And then he's looking up, yeah. yeah. So we gotta go back and double check what angle this guy's looking up at. Yeah. Like straight up. It has to be really close to that guy. Uh, go over there. So it's gotta be close to Blue Man Chu. <laughs> or Green Man. Green Man Chu, yeah, for sure. So it's like here ish. So do they have to be like directly on it? No, they're just looking at they're oh. they're the direction they're facing intersects it. Okay, so then you have to be the one to like... I have to be the one to say where to dig. Right. So I think it's like right about here. Because this guy's looking this way. Yeah, and then she is... But the other guy at the bottom is looking straight up. 
So I think it has to be like here. It has to be, yeah. There. It can't be like over here, or that guy at the bottom would have been like more angled. Right. It'd be nice so, if we could have them all on the screen all, at the same yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. So I guess we're just gonna try it. Yeah. And she's looking like, like if it were down here, she would be looking she more would down. Be, yeah, more think. tilted. Yeah, so, so gonna try it right here. Good, do it, baby. Dig overnight for me. Right. Is there like a smoke? <laughs> is there like a certain window that they give you? Of like, I don't hey, know. Hey, there right. we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so like, if you are within like a couple feet of it in the game, they'll still give it to you or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Remember how precise it has to be. Oh, I don't have to run. Right. So we're just gonna save it up Sweet. like little save chunkers. Yep. <laughs> and jump right back into it. Try and catch up with Aerith. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we could have gotten here as soon as we had the tiny Bronco, but you just couldn't obtain the lunar heart because those options about the girl in pink wouldn't come up and all right. that. Right, makes sense. So like you could tell them to like dig for great treasure or something like that? Yes, okay. you could do that game for good treasure. Maybe we should try that real quick, actually. Do now, we... Aerith's life is at stake, and I don't yeah. remember getting anything amazing from this. Yeah, if Sephiroth wasn't there, then I'd say maybe. Yeah. But. Sephiroth like kind of wants to murder her indefinitely. Yeah, so. yeah, and you have to like spend the night every time the guy digs. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can see. So the good thing is they clean, they healed us up from that because after the, when we woke up in Gungaga Village, Cloud and Barrett were still beat to all hell. Right, right. But now, yeah, everyone seems uh, more than happy here. Huh? I thought there was something we could get from here. Like a materia. Hmm. Like Kujata, I think, is in here somewhere. Oh, maybe he's on this screen. Hello! Oh, this is the what? Lunar Heart test screen. Oh, okay. If you don't have it, you you get kicked out or whatever. Or oh. you can't proceed. Oh, hey, that's what I'm talking about. Hey. Everybody see that little glorious ball? A little uh, red ball rolling around? Yeah, a little ball blasting. <laughs> Alright, he went on the left. Come here, baby. We're not going to leave hey. without you. Oh, there it is. Oh, I didn't see it. Th oh, touch the cloud! Oh! Oh no. That was close. So it just like kind of randomly starts rolling around? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, and it despawns. Um, it despawns. We can like camp it at one spot. Oh, there we but go. we don't have to. Alright, Kujata! Kujata is a summon spell. Right. It's not actually, I mean a lot of these you've recognized before, but Kujata is not one that's been in a lot of games. So I don't know if that's because the translation is a little bit funky, because mm. some of the ones from the earlier games like this isn't even that early of a game, it's in the half point, but... But yeah, some of the ones from 6 and 7 had made multiple appearances, but okay. then they didn't actually... Oh, you know what? We really have to redo all the equipment for everyone. So we will meet you guys back in two minutes. Oh, yeah. But yeah, some of the ones weren't always translated the same way. Mm -hmm. I think he might be Shote, which is a dude who's been in other ones. Okay, okay. Like, because they, some of them were translated off of different religious background, like iconology, or not iconology, but like different religious characters and right. figures and tales right. and things like that. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so we need somebody to have not... Oh. Whoa, I forgot we had that. Oh, we did yeah. not need to buy that diamond bangle. That drains half fire cold lightning attack. That's amazingly good. And we're ready! Alright. There we go. Everyone seems like they, uh... They're happy little campers now with their materia. Yeah. Alright. So now let's see if Aerith is still, uh... Oh, climb this. Happy and alive. This looks climbable. Oh, that pine there? Yeah. yeah. But oh. he's not saying yes. So. Yeah. Huh. What? Maybe it is not. climbable. He's... Oh, here we go. Yeah. I thought that was like coral or something. Yeah, it does look like coral. Well, it's possible the City of the Ancients could have been could be. yeah, underwater that's true. at one point. The water ring? The water ring. What you do for me, baby? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just turned into Mario. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Drains water attacks. Oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, mm. that sounds good. But I guess it just depends on when there's going to be water monsters around or not. True, right. Like, so maybe that does imply this place was underwater at one point. Yeah, that's true. That could be it. Could be why there's also such massive beasts. Like massive beasts. Massive beasts. Yeah, I mean, 
a lot of like the larger animals I guess live in the water at some point so could be it yeah it's giant saber-toothed tiger dinosaurs yeah exactly and, you know people flying jets underwater <laughs> yeah that was hey. all par for the course <laughs> back in the day back in oh the day, you know yeah. what there's encounters here you can get encountered and there's water monsters here who would have thought well I guess uh oh wow oh it's hedgehog pie hedgehog pie now we're talking. Oh my god. See you later, Hedgehog Pie. <laughs> that was so quick and violent. That was so great. <laughs> it's like one of... It's like one of uh, Barrett's specialties. Oh, I'm surprised it's not like one-shot kind of deals with these guys. Because they all don't right. seem all that... Uh... We didn't get a chance to show off Bahamut versus the demon wall like we had planned. Because oh, damn, yeah. that guy smashed my ass in from the beginning, just dropping characters with one shot left and right. But let's see it now! Oh my god. Mega Flare. Traditional oh, Bahamut summon badass attack. See you later. Kiss your ass goodbye. <laughs> Wait, are they not all dead? How? What the heck? Oh, maybe they have a death attack? Because I think they're dead. Yeah, they're dead. Oh, okay. They just have an automatic last hit attack here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just in case you didn't get death sentence from the right. millions of times that they used it on us in the G cave or whatnot. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. There's that Mega Flare was insane. <laughs> yeah, wasn't that cool? <laughs> that was so awesome. Whoa. That really looks like a place you can go in in the upper right there. It looks like it should be. Yeah. Like, that definitely should be an option. I guess we'll try one more time, but... Okay. See if we can't climb up there. Oh, uh, same guys. Oh, oh. You can cut this. Yeah. Or we can show Kujata, because we might oh, as well. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't hurt. Let's show off this giant bully, 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 bully. <laughs> Stop this deadly dance of leaves that does very little damage. Hey, Tifa, Limit Pray. Too bad it's not going to matter, because you're going to get obliterated like your friends before <laughs> you. Oh, wow. Dazers! Hey, Dazers! Got some more Dazers. Didn't look what they did yet, because they didn't look that great, but... <laughs> hey, here's Kujata! Ready to blast some what? murdery death. All the elements. Burn, baby! <laughs> what? And... It's a giant bull. What? <laughs> or a warthog, I guess. And Earth at the end. Oh, Hedgehog Pie ate it all up. Loving it. Bound Fat. Bound Fat. The updated Hedgehog Pie's name is Bound Fat. No way. How is it still alive? It gained life from the Kujata attack. Oh, okay. So. I want. Is that like. If he gains life from any of the elements of the Kajata attack? Yeah, that's why attacks like that are kind of bad. Oh, yeah. I could totally see why. Yeah, that's why we don't traditionally use stuff that's like added effect or elemental fire on the weapon. Yeah, Because right. sometimes it'll screw you over like we saw with Vincent. Yeah, So we sure. don't want to be in that situation when you come to a boss. Now, you can do the thing where, oh, you just know ahead of time because you've played the game before, and you can go up and obliterate any boss no problem. Right. But like I said before, that's kind of cheesy. Yeah. So, prefer not to do it that way. Uh, yeah, I totally, I totally agree. It's like, if you know what's coming, then what's the point? Um, like, you could just make the perfect thing off, right off the bat, and you're kind of game over there. Yeah. There you go. I mean, it can be fun to play the game in Smash Face like that. Right. But... Like, it's more of an interesting experience to try and puzzle out the enemies once you've been exposed to them as opposed to with a guide before right. you've seen them. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. There it is. These are... Paralyzes. Oh. All right, does just what it says on the tin. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we messed with this damn thing, and you can't. we can't seem to get up there, even though it looks like there's a cave in the upper right. So right. if you guys know if there's a secret cave, secret, 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 then you can let us know about that secret, secret, cave, secret, secret. <laughs> As we fight more bound fat on yeah. our way. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but fat and bounds here. But yeah, we tried finagling with that vine for a while. It didn't really work out. Oh, oh they put blind on us. Okay, so that's what the leaf thing does. It's not just a weak sauce damage attack. Mm, okay. So, yeah, both Barrett and 
Cloud. Interesting. Ah, there we go. Bound fat! Bye, <laughs> <laughs> bound fat. Oh, I didn't kill anyone. Anyway. <laughs> so, blind just decreases your chances of hitting. Right. Yeah. So let's try out both three. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Now that Now we know why these guys are a team. Yeah, really. Blind plus death sentence equals a death sentence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, just Hey, nice. Yeah, now that we have double everywhere and we've had it for a while, we should start seeing some of the material get to those start final tiers. Up, yeah. Because, yeah, I mean, we've been growing... We've been growing those materials for quite some time. And, yeah. Uh, some of them have been, I mean, going very quickly, like Lightning 3 and stuff, or Lightning, for instance, but everything else it's taken a little bit of time. Oh, we can see in the background there, in the upper part of the screen, there's the City of the Ancients below. Oh, yeah. You see, I see the little, little windy paths all the way up there. What? Uh, all right, cool. Ah, oh. yes. Oh, we're on the world map. Yes. Are we? Oh, nice. Yeah, we popped out on the other side of that northern continent area. Oh, okay. So this is why it's like, it's cool because on the world map, it's actually a super secluded place that people can't even get to. Right, right. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. Interesting. Now we're actually going to use a tent for the first time in balls ever. <laughs> and then we will Sand enter balls. the city of the ancients. If I find my yes. tents. Yeah. Where do we keep our tents? We haven't used them. I <laughs> know. There we so, go. There we are. Always Sweet. good to use a nice tent after we have used summon spells just to show them off because those take hefty amounts of mup. Oh, yeah. For sure. Mup is definitely something we're going to be needing very soon. A hundred to cast it. <laughs> yeah. Unblockable non-elemental attack. He did a lot of damage, but... <laughs> Fire, Ice, Lightning. Lightning. Okay, so that's where you can go to see what he does. Right, okay. So that means you can do some cool combos with Kujata, like put him Elemental Kujata in your armor protects you against all three. Ah, interesting. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. So more bang for your buck that way. Right. And Elemental Offense with Kujata puts all three on, but as we've seen with that, there's some... Can be a serious detriment there. Yeah, yeah. it can help and it can hurt. All right, so I'm not sure what the right order is to go around, but we have arrived in the City of the Ancients. It nice. looks completely foreign and different compared to everything else we've seen so far. For sure. So. It totally has its own unique kind of a... Uh, oh. Right in the front door, baby. Nice. Cloud, touch that with your body. <laughs> <laughs> Do not be afraid. We need this. Even though we literally saved it seconds ago. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, treasure. Oh, of course, these ancients are no longer. They don't need it, so we're gonna take it. Magic source, yes! Magic source. Item's so good, we haven't used one yet. <laughs> Nor will we probably ever. We might. We might. Uh, There's no reason maybe. not to use oh. it when we get to the. Oh, yeah. We can get in and out different oh, okay. ways. It's kind of cool. I guess it, this is ruins. We're gonna have massive holes and all the. Uh, yeah. Tons of different things. Ancient civilization. Yeah. Oh, oh my. It looks like that may do it for this episode of Final Fantasy, as Travis is trying to subtly hint to me. Yes. Hey, 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 crazy. Hey, hey, crazy. Hey. Time's up. Stop being crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these ruins. Stop being crazy. <laughs> so we may have to... We may have to get to the bottom of the City of the Ancients and track down Aerith next time, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed. We're on the right scent. But uh, I guess we have to continue on just a little more to find what's happening to sweet Aerith and hopefully Sephiroth hasn't killed her by now. Yes, that would be that would be bad. That would be terrible, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if the game is going to go in the way I think it's going to go, hopefully she'll still be alive. I think she'll still be alive and uh, we'll find her in the next episode. Let's well, see. we'll see how long this dungeon is. This yeah. Is positive Pete true. over here. That's true. This, these dungeons could, especially now, this is like the Temple of the Ancients. This is like a huge... A uh, huge thing. Yeah, uh, we're getting city, we're so. getting there with some serious plot developments, and we don't know how Cloud is going to react if we do find that him. is true. That is very true. You know, he'll even be in his right faculties at that point because we know Sephiroth's around. Right. So uh, yeah, I guess we'll have to see what he makes us do. 
Yeah, so join us next time for some serious, potentially heavy-hitting stuff as we get to the heart of some of the hardest core plot points in the game. We're trying to get you know, Sephiroth Aerith all in one place, the City of the Ancients. Things are all come to a head. It's great. <laughs> it's going to be epic. But uh, <laughs> you'll have to join us on the next episode to continue on. So, wow. That sucks. Yes, that just happened. That is a famous, famous scene in all of gaming. Wow. Oh my god. That ripped my heart out.